Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to go over the AFS or auto feeder that Neptune makes and how to program it. There's also a couple tips and tricks that I wanted to show people on how to use it. So let's get started. So the auto feeder system um, made by Neptune has been out for quite a long time. They also make their own food for it as well. Uh, I generally use pellets in mine, and one of the things I always try to do is put those little moisture packets inside the container, and that way it doesn't gain any moisture and get the pellets all stuck together. So that's something I always recommend people use with the AFS. So we're going to go over some of the programming tips for the AFS. When you first get an AFS, it's going to generally make you use the programming that is built into it. So here's my feeder right here. So let's go through how this feeder will work with the standard programming that comes with it, and then I'll show you kind of some tricks in using it. So the first thing is this tells you when you first want to feed throughout the day. It tells you how many times you want the drum to rotate during that time. This is how many feedings you want to go throughout the day, and then this is the repeat interval. So if I have this at 3 o'clock, I have a 180-minute repeat interval for two times a day. That means at 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock, my tank is going to feed, and it's going to spin once. And also there's a feed cycle of C. Now what that means is that it automatically programs feed cycle C into the system, so that way when you go to C, it'll automatically feed. Now, here is the trick. Once you've set up your feeder the way that you want it, if you click on advanced, it automatically takes the programming that you just did and put it into the advanced tab. So what's nice about this is let's say you don't want it to feed during C. Let's say you want it to feed if something happens. So for instance, you want if outlet reef pump is on, then off. Now what that means is if my reef pump was to turn on, I do not want it to feed at all at any point in time unless my reef pump has been turned off. Now you can get very advanced with this. So you could say, let's say if my MP if my MP40, which I have labeled reef, sorry, outlet reef wave is on then off and what that means is if my wave pump or my mp40 is on then i never want it to feed and you could do all kinds of different things with this advanced as long as you keep the osc command and as long as you keep the time command the same right here it'll keep the programming that you just had for your feeder and it will do your intervals so for instance if i go back and not save it and i go back to my reef feeder Let's say reef feeder right here. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Reef feeder. Reef feeder. There we go. It'll have my old programming in. And again, if I click on advanced, it'll then be there. Now, one of the biggest things I use this for is maintenance. So a lot of times when you're main, maintaining the tank or you're doing something, you don't want your feeders going off during that time. So what I've done with my feeders is I have a reef maintenance virtual outlet, I have a fish maintenance virtual outlet, and I have an office maintenance virtual outlet. Now, on my fish tank, I don't want my feeders to go off when I am on a maintenance mode on that tank. Now, that could be from a button press. That could be from me just going over here and turning it on. Now, if I do what I just taught you and I go to my feeders, I have one feeder on the left and right, you'll notice that I added a line here, if output fish maintenance equals on then off. And what's so great about doing that advanced step there is now whenever I turn on my fish maintenance, my feeders won't go off. Now, I don't have any feeders in my office tank, and on my reef tank, I don't mind if it feeds during maintenance, but on my fish tank, I do. So... That's basically how you can program the AFS and some kind of tips and tricks to doing some advanced settings on it in case you wanted to add something to it. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and I appreciate you watching the video. 
If you like the video, hit the thumbs up below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, I do live streams every week, so I'd like to see you there. Anyway, thank you and have a great day.